My next guest knows all too well how medical and emotional struggles can impact a family and their loved ones. Here for help is Lois Braverman of the Ackerman Institute for the Family. Welcome, Lois. Thank you. So we've heard uh, from uh, several people, uh, families dealing with juvenile diabetes and families dealing with anorexia and bulimia. When your family has a medical crisis, do you, should you immediately seek therapy to deal with it? Not necessarily, no. Um, there are different stages that families go through. Um, usually in the case of juvenile diabetes, the first stage is, that, is a medical stage um, to get the support um, that they need from what kind of treatment, what kind of insulin. Um, the nutritionist is very important both in terms of both the eating disorder and the juvenile diabetes. And then as families begin to cope with that dilemma, they might find that they reach some obstacles or there's some bumps along the way. Um, you can have a mom and dad disagree about um, who should be checking the blood sugar. Um, should the child be checking the blood sugar, um, depending on the child's age, not necessarily a two and a half like in this situation. Mm -hmm. But what about when the child becomes nine or ten years old? There may be conflicts about how things are handled in the family. And we know that these families do best and the children do best when their parents are together about the plan, mm. what should be done and how it should be done. And not every family has to do it the same way, but the parents have to be in agreement. And, and there is stress, and when there is stress, <laughs> right. there is often disagreement <laughs> right. and friction in right. the family. We all know too right. well. There's also a lot of guilt. I mean, parents feel guilty over the smallest things. We all do it. We can't help it. So I can imagine sometimes parents feel guilty for things that are totally out of their control exactly. when their children get sick. So exactly. how do you deal with that? So yes, um, parents feel horrible when their children suffer. and. Um, and guilt is, is a part of that. And so one of the things that family therapy can offer is a way of understanding the problem, a way of exploring what the meaning is of this problem for this family, and a way of getting understood. Because if you can, even as a guilty mom, if you think it's you, and you think that everybody in the family your spouse, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, your sister, if you think everybody thinks it is because of you that your daughter has an eating disorder, for example, um, that doesn't create a lot of family cohesion and a lot of family so you, support. So you all need to be at our best to deal with We need to be at our best to deal with the obstacles yeah. that our children, especially these obstacles that cross both medical and physical uh, disorders. Well, Lois, this has been so wonderful. I'm sorry we're out of time, <laughs> uh, but but very interesting to know there's obviously always going to be that component when you're dealing, or not always, yes. but very often with very a medical often. issue, things tend to follow. Right. All right, thanks right. again, doctor. Pleasure. All right, to learn more about all of today's topics, log on to myfoxny.com and click on public affairs. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ty Hernandez. We're going to see you next time for more Street Talk.